If you're struggling to learn AWS effectively and consistently, then this video is for you. Today, I'm going to share a powerful concept from James Clear's book, Atomic Habits, that's completely transformed my own AWS learning journey. It's called the two minute rule, and it's a game changer for building lasting and learning habits. Now, I know firsthand how overwhelming and frustrating learning AWS can be, but applying the concepts from Atomic Habits, I was able to build and grow this YouTube channel past my professional level AWS certifications with ease and even start my own businesses. And today I'm going to share the same strategies with you. Before we dive in, make sure to smash that subscribe button so I can hit 100,000 subscribers this month and check out my weekly cloud newsletter where I share free resources, tutorials, boot camps, and so much more to help you on your cloud journey. Okay, so James Clear's book, Atomic Habits, is all about creating lasting change through small incremental improvements. He argues that real change comes from the compound effect of hundreds of small decisions over time. Just like atoms are the building blocks of matter, small habits are the building blocks of remarkable results. Now I'm gonna focus on five key concepts from the book that can help you master your AWS learning journey. Firstly, we're going to look at how to make your AWS learning habits so easy you can't say no. We're then gonna look at the secret to making your new habits stick by anchoring them to existing routines. After that, we'll look at some simple tweaks to your environment that will skyrocket your focus and motivation. And then we're gonna look at the 1% rule that will help you achieve remarkable improvements over time. And finally, we'll look at how you can stay motivated and accountable through habit tracking. So let's get started. Now, one of the central ideas in the book is the concept of the 1% changes. James suggests that if you can just get better 1% each day, you'll end up with remarkable improvements over time. In the context of learning AWS, this means on focusing on small daily improvements rather than trying to cram everything into a few intense study sessions. The two minute rule is a technique for creating new habits. The idea is to make your habits so easy to start that you can't say no. Every habit can be scaled down into a two minute version. For example, studying AWS for an hour becomes open my AWS study guide. The habits must be established before it can be improved. Habit stacking is another powerful technique. The idea is to identify a current habit you already do each day and then stack your new behavior on top. This makes the new habit more likely to stick. In the context of learning AWS, you might decide to read one service overview each day after finishing your morning coffee. James also emphasizes the importance of the environment in shaping our habits. He suggests that we often overestimate the importance of motivation and willpower and underestimate the importance of our surroundings. By designing our environment to make good habits easier and bad habits harder, we can make significant changes with much less effort. All right, so we have a general idea of what atomic habits is and the five key concepts and what they are, but how can we apply these concepts from the book to learning AWS? Let's break it down. When applying the two minute rule to learning AWS, you wanna start by choosing a specific AWS service that you want to focus on, such as EC2 for virtual servers or S3 for object storage. This will help you narrow down your learning scope and make your goals more manageable. Next, break down your learning goal into two minute tasks. This could be something as simple as reading the first paragraph of the EC2 documentation, or watching the first two minutes of an S3 tutorial. The key here is to make the task so easy and quick that you can't make excuses not to do it. Even if you are short on time or motivation, you can still accomplish this small task and feel a sense of progress. Now, as you consistently complete these two minute tasks, you'll find that the habit of learning AWS becomes more ingrained. And at this point, you can gradually increase the time that you spend on each task. Maybe you'll read a whole page of documentation instead of a, just a paragraph, or you'll watch a five minute video of S3 rather than just two minutes. 
The idea is to slowly build up your learning momentum without overwhelming yourself. You simply cannot just go from learning nothing to spending five hours a day learning AWS. You'll be overwhelmed and demotivated. By starting small and making your learning tasks so easy, you'll be more likely to stick with your AWS learning habit in the long run. Remember, consistency is key. It's also better to spend two minutes learning AWS every day than to try cramming hours of study once in a while. With a two minute rule, you'll be amazed at how much progress that you can make over time just by taking small manageable steps every single day. Another effective way to build a consistent AWS learning habit is to stack it on top of an existing habit you already do consistently. This is known as habit stacking. And it's a powerful way to make your new habit feel more automatic and easy to remember. Now you wanna start by identifying a habit that you already do every day without fail, such as drinking your morning coffee or taking a lunch break. These existing habits can serve as anchors for your new AWS learning habit. Once you've identified your anchor habit, decide on a specific AWS learning task that you can stack on top of it. For example, you might decide that after you finish your morning coffee, you'll read one page of the AWS well-architected framework. Or during your first 10 minutes of your lunch break, you'll watch an AWS tutorial video on YouTube. The key is to choose a task that's specific measurable and takes less than 10 minutes to complete. When you're first starting out with habit tracking, it's important to make the task as easy and as quick as possible. This will help you build momentum and consistency without feeling overwhelmed or discouraged. As you get more comfortable with your new habit, you can gradually increase the time or complexity of the task. To remind yourself of your new AWS learning habit, use a visual cue that you'll see at the same time as your anchor habit. For example, you could put a sticky note that says, read one page of AWS docs on your coffee mug, or set a reminder on your phone that pops up during your lunch break. These visual cues will help trigger your new habit and make it feel more automatic over time. Now, by stacking your AWS learning habit on top of an existing habit, you'll be able to build a consistent learning routine that feels easy and natural. And over time, you'll find that you'll look forward to your daily AWS learning time task and it will become seamlessly part of your day, just like brushing your teeth or checking your daily email. Okay, now let's talk about your environment because it plays a big role in your ability to learn effectively. And this is especially true when it comes to learning AWS. By optimizing your environment for learning, you can make it easier to focus, stay motivated and make consistent progress towards your goals. Now, one of the best things that you can do is to create a dedicated space for learning AWS. This could be a specific room in your house or a desk in your office, or even just a corner in your bedroom. The key is to choose a space that is quiet, comfortable, and free from any distractions. Once you've chosen your learning space, make sure to keep all of your AWS learning materials in one place. This includes books, notes, your laptop, and any other resources you use to learn. Keep this space tidy and organized so that you always know where to find what you need and can start learning without any obstacles. Another way to optimize your environment for your learning is to set your browser homepage to the AWS Management Console or even the AWS documentation site. This way, every time that you open your browser, you'll be reminded of your AWS learning goals and have quick access to the resources that you need. You can also put up visual reminders of your AWS learning goals in your learning space. This could be a poster with the AWS services that you wanna learn a vision board to track your career aspirations, or even just post-it notes with your daily learning task. These visual cues will keep you motivated and focused on your goals. Now, I truly believe in this. I think your environment can either work for you or against you. I personally like switching where I'm working from every so often because I find new motivation when my surroundings change. You need a change of scenery. For example, if I need to do some writing, I tend to go work in some coffee shops. When I need to start coding, I will sit at my desk. When I have Zoom calls, I tend to go for walks. This gives me an environment of focus and continuing good habits. 
And finally, it's important to minimize your distractions during your scheduled AWS learning time. This means turning off notifications on your phone, closing any unnecessary tabs in your browser, and even blocking out distracting websites or applications using tools like Freedom or Cold Turkey. By creating a distraction-free environment, you'll be able to focus fully on your learning and make the most of your study time. Now let's talk about the 1% rule. Now embracing the 1% rule is a powerful way to make consistent progress in your AWS learning journey. The idea behind this rule is that small incremental improvements can compound over time to produce significant results. Now to apply the 1% rule to your AWS learning journey, start by setting a specific measurable goal for each day, week, or the month. For example, you might set a goal to learn how to launch an EC2 instance and configure it with a web server this week. Having a clear and specific goal will help you stay focused and motivated. Once you have your goal, you wanna break it down into small achievable tasks that you can complete in less than an hour each. For example, you might break down your EC2 learning goal into daily tasks such as this. On Monday, you'll read the EC2 Getting Started Guide. On Tuesday, you'll launch a T2 micro instance. On Wednesday, you'll connect the instant using SSH. On Thursday, you'll install an Apache web server. And on Friday, you'll deploy a simple HTML page. By breaking your goal down into small manageable tasks, you'll be able to make consistent progress each day without feeling overwhelmed or discouraged. As you work on these small tasks, focus on completing them consistently rather than trying to cram everything into one long study session. Consistent daily progress is more effective than intensive study sessions. Even if you only have 30 minutes to spare each day, you can still make meaningful progress by focusing on one small task at a time. I use the 1% rule to build my Cloud Engineer Academy, creating 12 modules and recording all the videos. It's a hefty and long process. So I focus on creating one module a week and try to do it as well as possible. Then I would spend the second week refining the module. This brought in a system for me to create the lessons and modules for our students to learn. And by the way, if you want to learn real world cloud skills through project based learning, then go check out my Cloud Engineer Academy. Now, something you don't want to forget is to celebrate your progress and give yourself small rewards for completing each task. This could be something as simple as treating yourself to your favorite snack, taking a quick break to watch a funny video, or giving yourself 10 to 15 minutes of social media time. These small rewards will help you keep motivated and make your learning feel more enjoyable. Okay, so let's talk about tracking habits. Habit tracking is a crucial step in building a consistent and effective AWS learning routine. By keeping track of your progress, you'll be able to see how far that you've come, identify areas for improvement, and stay motivated even when things get tough. One of the best ways to track your habit is to use a habit tracking app like Todoist or even just a simple spreadsheet. These tools allow you to log your daily AWS learning habit and provide visual cues of your progress over time. To make tracking your habit as easy as possible, set a reminder to check off your habit each day. This could be a notification on your phone, a reoccurring event in your calendar, or even a sticky note on your desk. The key here is to make the reminder impossible to ignore so that you don't forget to log your progress. Now, when you're tracking your habit, it's important to make the process as quick and as easy as possible. Don't spend too much time logging your progress or making detailed notes. The point is to get the work done. The goal is very simple. Check off that you've completed your daily learning tasks so that you can get back to actually learning because that's what is important. As you track your habit over time, make sure you review your tracking data to see your progress and identify any patterns or obstacles. For example, if you notice that you're consistently missing your learning habit on a Friday, you might need to adjust your schedule or find a different time to study. Or if you see that you've been making steady progress for several weeks in a a row, you can celebrate your success and use that momentum to keep going. By tracking your habit consistently and making a regular part of your routine, you'll be able to build a strong and sustainable AWS learning habit that will serve you well for years to come. Remember, the key is to keep things simple. Focus on progress over perfection and celebrate your successes along the way. So there you have it, the five atomic habit concepts that you can apply to learning AWS and learning AWS properly. Don't forget to check out my cloud newsletter and check out my Cloud Engineer Academy if you wanna build real world cloud skills. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.